Assalamualaikum and this week uh, we are going to continue with chapter 9 Extending the Organization uh, Supply Chain Management So in chapter 9 we have three learning outcome Number 1 to describe the basic of supply chain Number 2 to explain the role of information technology in the supply chain management and number three describe the supply chain management success factors we proceed with learning outcome number one describe the basic of supply chain average company will spend a lot of money in their production needs which involve the process of manufacturing or producing a good or services from the external suppliers and also to keep produce in the current market so this process involves a supply chain what is supply chain a supply chain consists of all parties involved directly and indirectly in the procurement of product or raw materials as you can see from the figure is an example of typical supply chain supplier manufacturer distributor retailer and the customers this supply chain need to be managed by the organization so the term supply chain management refers to the management of information that flows between and among stages in the supply chain in order to maximize the total supply chain effectiveness and profitability in the past most companies focus only on manufacturing and quality improvement in their organization but now their efforts extend not just to produce and maintain the quality but also need to influence the entire supply chain that including the customers the suppliers and distributors therefore supply chain management system enhance and manage these relationships and the supply chain has three main links number one how materials flow from the supplier number two the transformation process of these materials into a semi-finished or a finished products which involve the manufacturer and number three is the distribution of the products to customers so with this organization must embrace the technologies that can effectively manage and oversee their supply chains management there are five basic supply chain management components number one is plan number two is source number three make number four deliver and number five return Plan means that a company must have a plan for managing all of the resources that go toward in order to meet with the customer demand for products and services. So company must develop a set of metrics to monitor the supply chain so that it is efficient, less cost and able to deliver a high quality and value to their customers. Number two is source. Companies must carefully choose suppliers that will deliver goods and services in order to make the products. Company must also develop a set of pricing, delivery and payment processes with the suppliers and create metrics for monitoring and improving both relationships. Number three is make. Of course, this is the step where companies manufacture their product or services this process include scheduling the activities necessary for production testing packaging and preparing for delivery this process it involves measuring the quality levels of the manufactured product production output and the worker productivity Number four is deliver. It is involve the process of logistics, a set of process that plans for and control the efficient and effective 
transportation and storage of the supplies from the suppliers to the customers. In this step, companies must be able to receive orders from the customer, fulfill the order via their network of warehouses, pick types of transportation companies to deliver the products, and implement a billing and invoicing system to facilitate the payment process. Number five is return. This is typically the most problematic step in the supply chain. Company must create a network for receiving a defective and excess products and support customers who have problems with the delivered products.